So yun. So when you when you Hi guys, I am Arvin Joshua Puno Barlongo and I made this channel as an avenue for education. When it comes to agriculture, I am here to encourage the youth to venture on agricultural careers. And another is to educate students, most especially yung mga high school students natin, for them to prepare sa kanila mga I want to go, college entrance exams for the next year siguro. Again, I am Arvin and I am a junior BS agriculture student, major in horticulture, specializing in plant breeding at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. So, yeah, in this video, I will discuss uh, kung ano meron sa BS agriculture. So, yeah, let's go! So, if you are someone who, who is uh, deciding right now kung anong course yung mga ilalagay mo, and agriculture is one of those courses that you have uh, that you have in mind so i think this video is for you in my personal opinion the college of agriculture and food science in uplb is the most parang family na vibe sobrang home yung feels ng mga professors namin yan okay so let's start so sa bsa four years siya then 145 units then, ito yung nakakatawa dito. I always hear from one of my professors na kapag BS Agriculture daw, jack of all trades daw yan. No? So, bakit jack of all trades? Actually, nalilibot namin lahat ng mga colleges in terms of our subjects. Meron kaming agricultural biosystems engineering na course, ganyan. So, meron din kami mga economics na course. We have courses on agricultural business management. And entrepreneurship, if you really want to have a bigger scope of choices in terms of your career in the future, I think BS Agriculture is one of the best choices for you. And we also have supportive na mga advisors, supportive na mga staff na pwede mong pagtanungan about something. Ayun yung gustong gusto ko sa CAPS kasi sobrang gaan lang nilang kausap, lalo na yung mga staff and yung mga faculty. So when you enter BS Agriculture in the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, you have a wide array of majors where you can choose from. So yeah, most of our majors in BS Agriculture are tackled in our basic agricultural subjects. Like for example, yung animal science. Yeah, sa animal science, we studied about animal physiology, animal nutrition, animal breeding, and even yung sa production na ng mga animals. We, are, we also tackled... Specifically, what happens in the swine industry, in the poultry industry, beef industry, and even in the dairy industry. So, ayun yung mga parang uh, glimpse of what you will encounter when you study BS Agriculture. In crop science, it is divided into two. So, merong dalawang majors ating crop science, agronomy and horticulture. So, what is the difference between these two? When you are majoring in horticulture, you have the choice if you will study on fruits, ornamental plants, some plantation crops, and even vegetable crops. So, on horticulture, it deals with the cultivation of uh, those crops. Whereas, when we, when we look on agronomy, it's on the application of plant and soil science on the growth of the plant. Like for example, ano na yung mga factors na, na nakaka-apekto in a very successful production ng ating mga crop. We also have entomology. So entomology naman, it deals with the study of insect. Ano yung mga insect pests, mga ganyan, that are affecting crop production. Ano yung physiology nila, ganyan. And we also have plant pathology. Where in sa plant pathology, it deals on the diseases. Ano yung mga sakit ng halaman? We studied here bacteria, fungi, uh, viruses, nematodes, yung mga yan. We studied all of that in plant pathology. 
we also have weed science. So weed science naman, ito parang hindi lang natin siya alam, pero it's a very great aspect in crop production. Kasi weed science, it deals with competition na. Yung mga weeds natin, di ba sila yung nagko-compete sa nutrients na, na nakukuha ng crop. So it is a very important field where we can study different types of weeds na nakaka-apekto rin sa crop production. Then we also have soil science. Here in soil science, we, uh, we studied on... Ah, uh, yung sa, sa soil ano yung mga types ng soil, ano yung best na pH, yung mga porosity, mga bulk density, mga ganyan. Yung mga yan nasa soil science yan. So dito naman it deals with the fertility of the soil and, and how it affects and how it affects crop production. So we also have agricultural systems. In agricultural systems, it deals with the interaction of all of those components. So it is somehow a bird's eye view of what's happening dun sa, uh, sa system. So, yung mga, yung mga nag-major nito, perhaps sila yung mga magiging sobrang farm manager talaga na alam nila yung interactions between the different components that are in the agricultural systems. We also have landscape, landscape agroforestry and it's the study of, of agriculture dun sa mga highlands natin, nasa mga forest areas, mga nasa bundok, ganyan. And it is more on how we design yung ating mga alaman or yung ating mga puno in terms of their levels kung, ma- kung nasa lowland pa yan or nasa high upland yan actually hindi ko masyadong alam to so if may mali ako correct nyo lang ako dyan lastly we have agricultural extension and communication which is somehow the parang humanities sa agriculture sa, sa agriculture sabi ko kanina parang we are we are the jack of all trades we are we experience yung bawat ano bawat colleges so ito naman this is more on sa uh, development communication actually the college of development communication is originally from the college of agriculture and food science so yung agricultural extension and communication now it deals on how we para how we bridge it is on the bridging ng ating research and ating farm farmers so ganun siya uh, extension kaya siya extension because it acts as a bridge from for example di ba kanina we have tackled animal science crop science yung mga knowledge doon yung lahat ng mga knowledge doon is on the research aspect now agricultural extension served serves as the bridge on how we will uh, how we, we will transfer that technologies those technologies sa ating mga farmers naman so para natin mas magiging Uh, laymanize yung term paano natin i-explain yung mga bagong innovations natin sa ating mga farmers. I hope that I have given you enough glimpse on how or on what will you expect when you apply in the BS Agriculture degree program here at the University of the Philippines Los Baños. If you have any questions about the UPCAT or the, you want to know more about yung UPCAT and yung applications, ganyan, check this uh, vlog by one of my, my batchmates in UPLB and Arvin din yung name niya. So yan, check nyo yung vlog niya about the UP applications. So to end this video, I want to share with you this uh, quotation from one of the wisest king that, that ever lived. So uh, sabi ni King Solomon, sabi niya, Wisdom is found in those who take advice. Whatever happens in your application in UP, life is not about UP or nothing. Life is not just about your uh, your university. There is something more in life. So when things does not go according to plan, according to your plan as an individual, as a person, always remember and just trust the process and trust that everything happens for a reason. So again, I am Arvin, and thank you for watching this video. And this is Sprout Up i 6111 Bye!